Of course, Veterans Day is Tuesday, and it's a reminder there are many local vets trying to deal with post-traumatic stress disorder. Some are getting help at a Madison County ranch through a program called Heart of Horse Sense. News 13's Hope Hanselman explains how it's making a difference for everyone and everything involved. From the outside looking in, what's not to love? You might never tell. The view from the office is great. I get to play with these guys every day and watch what happens when people come to awareness about how to change. Come on, ladies. The 28 horses Shannon Knapp has rescued from abuse and neglect come up, come up, come up, come up. have become her healers. It's Olympia. I call her the divine Miss O. And on the heart of Horse Sense Ranch, this arena doubles as a doctor's office, and the connections here are medicine. Every morning at about 6:30, I come up to the outdoor paddock, and she comes up to me. So for uh, for the last four or five mornings, her and I have had this this uh, little conversation. Here, veterans work through the hurdles of PTSD that have affected their civilian life. Learning these skills isn't, you know, isn't easy. If I show up as someone that feels safe to him and someone that can effectively lead him, then the horse will connect. If I show up with any other pretension, the horse is going to react. The horses act as a reflection of each of their personalities. I've learned to be more aware of how I show my feelings to the world, more aware of um, how I participate in my surroundings. It's definitely made me more compassionate to other people around me. When I started, I had not much balance at all, and I, I was going through less so I was real tired a lot of times, but that kept me up because it was fun to go see my horse, so that was that was a good thing. Healing from the inside out keeps these spirits moving on and looking up. There's lots of astonishing moments. In Marshall, Hope Hanselman, News 13. He had his heart in a box, and... He like didn't want to, it seemed how it portrayed to me, it seemed like anybody around him and kind of stuff like that. So it was kind of like, get away from me. And um, in a sense, that's also how I felt with a lot of things. Like, yes, my heart was in a box still. <laughs> I didn't realize it. I didn't really want to go to the VA at first because the VA was the them. You know, it was just a different part of them. And can you trust them? And what it, you know, are they really going to help you? Do they even care? And so I, I, I started having some challenges. And, um, and then when I ended up in the hospital, that I knew that it was, that I needed help. You know, the, the, it doesn't matter who you were then. It doesn't matter what's going on. Like, it's okay. Like, it took me baby steps to say, you need help, and it's okay to get help. And don't stop getting help. There's therapy here available, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what that looks like. So I just put in for it and kind of just threw it up in the air. I was like, well, we'll see what happens. You know, if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. And then it came up, and it was like, okay, here's your opportunity. Try it. And, uh, It's been the most amazing thing. Veterans need to know about equine therapy because the horses don't hurt you, they don't judge you, they don't. They get it. The therapists here, they get it. You know, they're so caring and so compassionate, and, and I'm so grateful that I've found out about it and that I took a leap of faith to come out here and just go and not say this is just petting horses, you know, because people don't know what they don't know. I just feel blessed that there's places like this that Richard and Shannon have created. Because Lord knows where a lot of us would be without their help and support. Um, and it's just amazing the sacrifice that they given that they make.